Hey everyone, this is Suja. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to be um, discussing Ethereum, Litecoin, Dogecoins, and Bitcoin. So without further ado, let's just, you know, get started. So I'm just going to put my face over here. And so here's the chart. Uh, stochastics, it's going down. It has the cross and it kind of confirmed the cross. Uh, let's see. I would be worried if stochastics went down below 49.86. Um, in terms of the price break, uh, it's apparently, it's already given us this signal here. So one, two fulfillment. This might be a short lived one. It, we might have a third um, red breakdown. And then, you know, again, if it comes down, it'll probably come down to that 49. 0.98 uh, region, but it doesn't seem like it. So it, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks like it's trying to get in the 4200 range right here. Um, I feel as though that's where it'll stop. And then we might have a, a little bit of a pullback, but it may not do that. So. <laughs> It's messing around this area, right? So the bottom now is the last Fibonacci area that we had to break, which was roughly 3,600-ish. And so now it's playing around in this range. So it's gonna play up to 4,600. And then if it breaks that, then we're going all the way to like 5K, 5 to 6K. So the prediction on Twitter is we're gonna hit 10K at some point, which I agree with. I think Ethereum intrinsically has value. Ethereum is the world's um, smart contract computer. It just is naturally what it is, right? Um, so I agree with that, but I don't know. I don't know the time frame, and I don't want that to cloud the the technical analysis. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stay with the technical analysis for now. It needs to break 4,300 for me to say okay, it has a shot at higher than 4,300. And so far it has not done that yet. All right, so that does Ethereum. Let's go back to, let's actually do Litecoin because I've, I've added Litecoin today. Jesus, Litecoin has this massively fun one. One, two, three, four, five, and then it goes back up. Okay, so if you look at Litecoin's Kage chart, it's like one shoulder, one waist. One, two, three, four shoulders. One, two, three, four, five waist. And then one, two, three, four, five shoulders. You know, we'll see. It's, uh, it's whatever, N plus one, I think. So we'll see how this goes. I We're not in any danger zone as of yet. We need to lose, we need to go back to 217 as the price point for it to be in the danger zone. So, so far it looks good. It doesn't, it's not triggering anything on my end in terms of like what I think. Um, again, if it falls below 2115, yeah, 215, that's an issue. Um, so yeah, price break chart would have it to where it's coming down. Uh, it needs to break 306 for it to go further down. Um, hmm. Troll in Japan doesn't do anything for me at this point. All right, so. Yeah, so it looks good. Um, what's the dotted line here? The, okay back all right so i think it's a 300 200 sma so <laughs> plot one let's go with red plot two let's go with um green plot three is going to be purple and then plot one again it's going to be yellow plot two is green Plot three is purple. Plot four is say magenta. And plot five or six or whatever, it's gonna be like orange, like super orange. So it seems fine, right? It 
it's above the 21 day moving average. Um, it's picking back up. Uh, it's, it's got a lot to go, right? It has to break 378 for it to actually, you know, matter at least to me, right? It may matter to you at a different price point. So <laughs> I don't know. For me, this is what I'm looking at is either it goes down or up. The chances are it goes down um, again, either way. Whichever way it goes, it seems to be in a downward trend. The Kage is showing downward momentum. So there you go. That's Litecoin. So at any of these major breaks, at either at 306 or 377 is where I would be most likely to say, okay, this is probably where I should buy. I would hope it's at 306 because then I can buy it cheaper and then ride the wave up. But you know, that's just me. You don't have to do it like me. <laughs> you can do it your own way. Ooh, yeah, stochastics don't look really that good. Yeah, not a good sign for stochastics. It's probably gonna go all the way down before it comes back up. So there's probably a more downward pressure now. So I would say likely it's gonna break 306, downward trend probably come back around 215 before bouncing back up. Excuse me. So all right, we touch Ethereum, we touch Litecoin. I'm gonna say Bitcoin for last. So let's go back to Dogecoin because Doge is bay. Don't lie. Y'all love Doge. <laughs> I love Doge. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> Jesus is 0.05 or yeah, 0.5. Damn. All right. So it made a cross here on the stochastics. It's having an upward trend. Um, but the price break is saying, no, we have a sort of a, another push down. So usually if the price break is doing a push down, it's probably the price break that takes more precedence. But, but I will give it this pattern that's rising in the Kage, right? No, sorry, this is Renko. So if this pattern holds, then we might see an upper level um, move. What's the Kage saying? The Kage is also saying we're going up. So Kage and Renko are both saying we're going up. Price break and price break is the only one who's saying we're going down. Um, so we'll see. I would like it to go back up. The way uh, I'm looking at it is once it crosses this threshold, the 0 .0, 0 0.58 threshold, and it turns green, because that's where the momentum turns green, like right here, then we could probably, by we I mean me, again, none of this is financial advice, probably go into the market and bet on it, you know. I need that signal though, <laughs> until I get that signal. I don't think I could uh, stomach it. Lots of people can, lots of people will, and that's good on them, you know, you can trade your own way, if you don't like my way, you know. Oh, I already have the stochastics, so. Here we go. Okay, so stochastic, and then if we cross this area here on the CMI or yeah, CMRSI EMA, then we might have an upward pull. It looks like we're gonna have an upward pull. I need, I guess I'll stick around one more day and see if we have an upward pull. Um, if we have an upward pull, I mean, you know, geez, <laughs> we might be looking at another multi percentage move here. So what was the move here? 2300, Jesus Christ. So if we move 2300 from that point forward, let's see what it is from here. Jesus Christ, $5, <laughs> insane, just insane, dang it. So insane, it's in the membrane, come on. 2300, it's a thousand.
Jesus. Hold on a second. I think my mouse stopped working. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna try this one more time. Look if we have this percentage. We're looking at like twenty-four dollars. <laughs> twenty-four dollars. <laughs> Oh my God, we ain't seen anything yet. If that's the case, right? But it may not be the case. We'll see. Basically, I might actually dump like, you know, a, a few hundred dollars in there just in case. <laughs> oh my God, this is fantastic. So we need to see what it is, right? But this is probably not the best measurement. So this is probably gonna be the best measurement from here to here, 50%, right? If we're looking at another 50% move, which we might not, by the way, uh, we're looking at roughly 30 cents per Dogecoin. So, you know, take that as you may. Uh, and that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> this is just insane, Jesus. All right, so let's go back from Dogecoins to uh, Bitcoin. So we're going to have to end this video with Bitcoin. You all know Bitcoin is bay. It's number one. Bitcoin is not doing good. Um, I mean, look at this. It's done these little three, three waves. Uh, it looks like Bitcoin is going to sort of consolidate around here and then go back up. Okay, hold on a second. So Bitcoin almost touched the 43, almost. It touched the 4,500 area. I think it touched, yeah. So I had said previously in one of my other videos that it's gonna be 4,400 uh, because I used this Kage chart here and I'm pretty close, but now it's sort of bridging the gap. I think, let's see, the Kage is gonna play out. This is gonna be the last brick and then we're gonna make a U-turn. That's my thinking currently. Um, and even the price break chart is saying that because usually if you have one big dump, you're gonna have a secondary big dump. So we are due for a little bit more before we go back up. Um, and as you can see, the stochastics are you know going downwards. <laughs> so yeah. And the Kage is like, you know, one, two, three, one, two shoulders might make another shoulder here so a third shoulder um yeah so a little bit more of a downturn before we get a big upturn and that basically does it for my crypto analysis thank you for watching i'll uh, see you in the next one peace